Hi, I'm Eric Steinberg, Program Director of the St. Joseph's Emergency Medicine Residency Program. Choosing a residency may just be the most important decision you make in your career. And when deciding which program is right for you, you're most likely asking yourself, what patient population will I be exposed to? What is the learning environment like? How healthy is the culture of the program? And finally, what separates one program from all the rest? In the next few minutes, we aim to answer these critical questions by giving you an inside look to our St. Joseph's Emergency Medicine family. Thank you for your interest in our program. St. Joe's has been around since 1867. It's founded by the Sisters of Charity of St. Elizabeth, and its whole mission was to support the poor people and the underserved in the community. And we've been doing that since that time. So whether we're talking about the smallpox epidemic in the 1800s or the COVID epidemic of 2020, we've been here. We're kind of a beacon of light for the community. When this program um, was started back in 2004, it really became integrated throughout the entire system. And so the residents, whenever they rotated outside of the department, whether it was MICU or trauma, everyone knew that an EM resident was coming and they were very dependable and very well educated. So I guess the best way to describe the faculty here at St. Joe's is they're talented and diverse. Their top priority is the education of the emergency medicine residents. The faculty here has been constructed deliberately uh, to be diverse and uh, cover the breadth of emergency medicine. We have a fellowship trained faculty in many specialties, including toxicology, EMS, ultrasound, simulation, medical education, and their participation only enhances every resident's medical education. We see a huge ethnic demographic mix of patients. On any given shift, you're gonna be speaking English, Spanish, French, sometimes Arabic, um, Bengali, multiple different languages. So patients from very diverse backgrounds. That's one of the beautiful things about Patterson is that it's not just a, a homogenous kind of city, but it's not just about volume. It has to also be about diversity of the patients and the acuity of those patients. So we have like a good amount of pathology and again, residents will pull you in any direction to be like, hey, look at what I have going on on this side um, or look at this cool procedure we're gonna do. I feel like the faculty who are very like subspecialized almost, um, like with the neuroblox of Dr. Vlasica, she'll pull residents and be like, hey, you're in like the back part of the ER, come and see this nerve block um, so that you can learn to do it too. Our relationship with the residents and the faculty is definitely very strong. What's great is that when we come into work, we have a one-to-one -one ratio with are attending that we're working with for the day. So we have personal feedback throughout the shift. We are able to learn step-by-step step through any new procedures that we haven't done ourselves before. And we're able to discuss our clinical decision-making with them and learn what their thought process is as well. So I think one of the really unique things about our program is that you have full ownership of your patients starting on day one. So that means if your patient needs a certain type of procedure, you're the first person in line to do that procedure. Um, that's why I feel like most of our residents uh, fulfill all of their procedural requirements by the end of first year. Uh, and I feel really comfortable with pretty much all of the procedures um, that I've had the opportunity to do. Yeah, I mean, we have a robust ultrasound curriculum here, um, which speaks to the fact that we have great patient pathology. So there's always uh, interesting things to scan. Um, we do a four week elective here. I do personal scanning shifts with all the residents, which is great because we get that, you know, one to one education um, and bedside teaching to really hone in those uh, those ultrasound skills. We have a lot of opportunities. Uh, a lot of residents write for the EMRA guides. Uh, a lot of case reports get published out of here just because of the, uh, the robust patient population, a lot of speaking nationally, regionally at conferences as well, and a couple of randomized controlled trials as well are going on right now for additional opportunities. We are a relatively small residency with such volume and diversity, and what you have is the perfect environment to develop clinical and procedural skills. And once we combine this with their clinical experience with our cutting edge didactics, the end result is our graduates excelling in all types of practice settings whether it be community or academic, urban or rural, or something in between. And I have no doubt that at the conclusion of three years, that any resident that trains with us will be more than prepared for whatever academic and clinical challenges uh, that their career path brings.
I think one thing that makes St. Joe's very unique is the fact that we have a community medicine experience and, you know, the residents have to learn things that, you know, they're not necessarily experiencing in a bigger, a larger academic center, such as transferring um, unstable patients, such as not, you know, maybe not having every consultant to come in and, you know, fix the bone and, and you know, do the, the complex facial laceration. I think the trauma experience at St. Joe's is second to none. We have a very good variety of traumas. We have a pretty high percentage of penetrating trauma for our region especially, which makes for a great experience. And the high volume of trauma that we see gives us a great relationship with the trauma department as well for our residents. One of the things I love about emergency medicine is the ability to see critically ill patients. Um, and I feel that the training here has absolutely prepared me for a career in critical care medicine. Not only do we see a lot of the bread and butter emergency medicine, but we see a lot of critically ill patients as well. So I feel very comfortable transitioning from the emergency room to the ICU setting. Students ask me during interviews, you know, what keeps you here? Why are you here after 19 years? I tell them it's the people. And the people have become my second family, where, whether, you know, whether it's, you know, clerks, techs, nurses, residents, other faculty, uh, administrators. Um, I really see this as my second family, and that's what keeps me here. The people that you find here at St. Joe's, um, all of the faculty members and my co-residents, they're like a family to me. And it's really nice knowing that uh, I have a support system in place um, who will support me in my professional and personal life. You know, I've been to different um, emergency departments. I think what's unique about this place is the, the respect, the compassion we have for each other and looking out for each other. Here I find that the residents really do form tight groups. They're like a family. They really support each other. They're there for each other. I think it's a, an amazing thing to have in training, especially if you're coming from someplace where you're not near your family and your friends from college, to have that support system in place. And, and it really is a, a fantastic place to work. The, the culture of the place, the cooperation, the flat hierarchy, you know, we really come into work looking forward to work with each other. I'm always excited to see which resident I'm working with that day, which team of nurses I'm gonna be working with that day. It's really a fantastic place and I couldn't really ask for more. What's kept me for so long? I mean, this place is really like family, right? I mean, this is where I go when I have nothing else to do. Um, don't use that. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, it's, um, um, St. Joe's has been a great place to work. Um, it's, a, it's a great clinical environment. It's a great um, collegial environment for faculty. We've done research here. We, uh, we have a, a great relationship with our residents. Um, we, um, uh, it's just been a really fulfilling environment to practice emergency medicine and to practice medical education. So why are we different? Why is this more than a residency? Because we are a family. We are St. Joseph's family. We watch out for each other, for our nurses, for our staff, for our residents. We guarantee you succeed here. Put in the work and you will have an experience that will last you a lifetime. God bless you and looking forward to seeing you on the floors. So now you know what makes us, us, a diverse, high acuity patient population an emphasis on scholarship, expert faculty, and a healthy culture. So come join us at St. Joe's Emergency Medicine and launch your successful emergency medicine career.